This afternoon, the Philippines has taken the step of bringing China. In January 2013, the Philippines brought an arbitration against China over the South China Sea to the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague. Regional disputes are raised to higher level, and tensions among neighbors started to build up. When and how did the long-standing South China Sea situation started to intensify? Here is the turning point. The United States is turning our attention to the vast potential of the Asia-Pacific region. This region must know. As we end today's wars, I have directed my national security team to make our presence and mission in the Asia-Pacific a top priority. And South China Sea was singled out from the strategic points. In this context, the United States has been clear and consistent. While we do not take sides on the competing sovereignty claims to land features uh, in the South China Sea. Four months after these statements, the Philippines, a U.S. ally, took action and apprehended eight Chinese fishing boats around the Huangyan Island, resulting in a standoff with China. A few weeks after the standoff, Washington wrote out red carpet for its Philippine ally at the White House. Uh, we've uh, had discussions about how uh, we can continue to consult closely together, uh, engage in uh, training together, uh, work on a range of regional issues together, uh, all of which is consistent with uh, the announced pivot uh, by the United States uh, back to Asia. The political rhetoric is coupled with military muscle. The Navy will reposture its forces from today's roughly 50-50% split between the Pacific and the Atlantic to about a 60-40 split between those oceans. Why should the region that has no war have to see such a large U.S. fleet? And the United States will keep that commitment because allies never stand alone. For a close treaty ally, our alliances, and that includes the Philippines, of our ally, the Philippines. Strengthen our alliances, certainly without the use of force. It's the USS Carl Vinson carry a battle group, and there are more than 200 Navy and Air Force planes taking part. To build the Philippines' defense capabilities. The U.S. Navy plays a good role, whether it's in the South China Sea, East China Sea, you can count on the United States. The U.S. is returning to Asia. And then the South China Sea has a regional issue being internationalized. Allies encouraged to take bold actions, attention mounting among neighbors, and the future to be filled with U.S. warships. What role is the U.S. playing?